Hey, this is Nate with Wash Sensei and Always Shiny Mobile Detailing in San Antonio. Wouldn't you agree when people are looking for anything, they Google it? Kind of want to put this video together for you, kind of show you some things you can do, give you some tips and tricks on what you can do to rank higher on Google and beat out your local competition. There are three key parts to getting found online and being in front of people that are actively searching for the service you offer is also key to growing your business. The three things that we're going to talk about, citations, backlinks, and the content. We'll get into what all of those are. I generally like to start with the content. You know, scrolling down through here, you have a very nice looking site. The layout's done well, but there's not a lot of content on here. Google likes to see about 1,500 to 2,000 words on this home page and about 500 to 750 on those back service pages. And that's so that you can organically fit the keywords and keyword phrases people are looking for into the content on your page. There are ways to be found for words that technically aren't on your page, you know, hiding behind pictures, anchor text through backlinks and things like that. But the easiest, fastest way for Google to find them is for them to organically be in the content. You know, this guy's showing up at the top of the list in Louisville. Not really that great of a site, but he has a ton of content on here. So, you know, he's got those keywords and things like that in his page, and that helps Google find him. You know, here's one of the other ones. Much better layout, but again, pretty short on the content. I'd say 95% of the sites I look at are short on content, and that is one of the easiest, fastest ways for Google to find the keywords that you're looking for. But Arifs is one of the tools that we use to kind of really break these sites down. It is one of the paid tools that we have. But you're showing up for 76 keywords. You know, Gilbert Auto Detailing, that's the name of the company. You are in the number one spot, but those people know who you are, and they are looking for you. Car Detailing, Louisville, KY. 200 people a month searching that, and you're right at the top of the second page. You know, there's 10 on each page, so 11 is the top. So, you know, right there toward the top of the second page, you're getting about 3.4 visits a month to your website out of 200 people searching for it. Automotive Detailing, Louisville, Kentucky, 200 people looking for that. You're in the 17th position. You get 1.3 visits a month to your site. <coughs> Auto Detailing, Louisville, you're in the 18th position. You're in 0.56 visits a month on average to your site. 150 people looking for it. I like to use that one because it makes the math easy. But the number one guy generally gets about one third of that traffic. So out of that 150, you would get about 50 visits a month to your website showing up number one for this one search term. You know, think about all of this volume here and getting up there, you know, at least into that top three positions on Google, how much extra traffic that would drive to your business and how much more that could generate on your bottom line. You know, we'll go over here and look at a couple of the other guys. You know, this guy's got 461 keywords. This guy's got 812. You know, we'll pull these up, kind of see what he's got going on here. Car detailing Louisville, 200 searches. Fourth position, he's getting 17 visits a month to his site. Car detailing Louisville KY, 200 searches. He's in the sixth position. He's getting 13 visits a month to his site. So we'll see if we can find those same type of keywords over here. Come on. Technology is great when it's working. But here we go. Car Detailing Louisville. Number one position, 200 people looking, 67 visits a month on average to his site because of that. So, you know, that just shows the difference. I think the other guy was in the fourth position and getting like 17. So, you know, those top three spots are crucial. It drops off pretty fast after that. The second thing that I like to talk about are your citations. And let me get to the page I want to be on. Right here is the Google Map Pack. You should have a Google My Business page. If not, I definitely recommend getting one of those set up. But what a citation is, it's your business name, address, and phone number listed exactly the way it is on your Google My Business page in multiple directories across the internet, such as Yellow Pages, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Merchant Circle. There's hundreds, if not thousands, of them out there. It's just a matter of finding them 
and getting your information put in there. You know, it does take some time, find them, sign up, get the confirmation email, all that good stuff. But it's not the only factor to getting into the map pack, but it is one of the big ones. Some of the other factors are going to be how many reviews you have, what your star rating is, you know, how many pictures you have on your Google My Business page. Are they named properly? Making sure the page is 100% filled out. So there is lots more to it than just citations, but citations is one of the big ones. The third thing would be your backlinks. Currently, you're showing up for 70 backlinks. A backlink is any website I can go to that has a link that points back to yours. You know, a button, a picture, something I can click on that takes me to your website. It's kind of a popularity contest. The more you have, the more popular Google thinks you are and the more authority they're going to give you. You know, citations will give you backlinks. There's blog commenting that you can do. There's lots of ways to do it. You know, if you're reaching out to other businesses or doing the blog commenting, trying to get some backlinks, try to keep them relevant to the industry that you're in. You know, look at automotive type sites, look at automotive or automotive detailing blogs, you know, read some articles, put a comment in there, post a link. Those are the type that are going to give you the most authority. You know, not all backlinks are created equal. So do try to keep them relevant. You don't want to get a bunch of spammy backlinks on there. A backlink from your local hair salon or pizza hut is probably not going to do you any good. You know, do try to keep them specific to the industry that you're in. You know, if you go over here, he's got 348. This guy's got 452. We can go in here and see what they have and where they're getting their backlinks from. And one of the things that we can do because of these tools is go check these pages out. You know, check the authority. You know, see what kind of power they're passing. Make sure they are the type of backlinks that we want. And go to these same pages and try to get backlinks for you. You know, I call it the copycat method. Copy the guy that's winning and then go out and find some more on our own and beat this guy at his own game. But that is my basic overview for you. You know, all of this can be done for you. I can generally get increased traffic coming to any detailing website within about 30 to 60 days. You know, whether you're interested or not, I'd still love to hear some feedback, get some thoughts on this video. My goal is to exclusively help one detailer in each area get these consistent, predictable leads coming into their business. Get back to me. Let me know what you thought. And thank you for your time.